Looking for some ideas on how to save on your water bill? If so, you're in luck because we're going to give you three simple tips on how to save water in today's episode. To hear our water saving tips, stay right here. Welcome to the Homeowner's Handbook, everyone. I'm Chad Peterman. We all use and need water for everyday cooking and cleaning, but there are definitely ways to use water more effectively. Today, we're going to look at three areas that use a significant amount of water and how to be more efficient in their use. Let's start with dishes. Our first tip may be surprising, and that is don't hand wash your dishes. Hand washing your dishes in the sink can use up to 27 gallons of water for a full load. On the other hand, if it is an older unit, a dishwasher only uses around 10. And if you have a newer one, it may even use as little as three. So next time you go to scrub away at a dish, rest easy knowing you're saving money by simply setting it in the dishwasher. Our second tip is to install low flow fixtures. Standard flow fixtures can use nearly twice as much water as new low flow models. The more fixtures you upgrade, the more savings you will see. If you're looking to update one at a time, we recommend starting with the shower, as that is where you will see some of the most significant water use. Finally, let's look at the washing machine. Tip three is to wash your clothes with cold water. While washing on cold may not save you on how much water you use, it will certainly help keep your energy costs down. An estimated 75 to 90% of the energy used by your washer is dedicated to heating. That's a lot of energy you can save with each load. Beyond that, cold water is less likely to cause your clothes to shrink or fade, helping your clothes last a little bit longer. While certain applications will call for hot water, during a wash, anytime you can use cold, we recommend it. And those are our tips. What'd you think? Let us know in the comments and come back again for more tips, tricks, and product spotlights from the Homeowner's Handbook.